welcome to the 2022 MIAA Rugby State Championships. Participating student athletes, coaches, and contest officials have worked diligently to prepare for today's competition. Please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance. Ensure that your behaviors reflect the values that should be identified with these student athletes. Assume responsibility for your behavior and the behavior for those around you. If you're required assistance, please call upon MIAA school or security official. Now for your home team, Belmont High School. We got number one, Nicole Bufuno. Number two, Narine Matarenja. Number three, Nia Wengia. Number four, Julia Vecchi. Number five, Elise Conroy. Number six, Catherine Waugh. Number seven, Alex Townsend. Number eight, Valentine Dethu. Number nine, Justine Endo Ferguson. Number 10, Evie Hamer. Number 11, Allison Caputo. Number 12, Ellen Feldhouse. Number 13, Amelia Rondo. Number 14, Mia Taylor. Number 15, Cecilia De La Fuente. Number 16, Haley Eager. Number 17, Danielle Bafano. Number 18, Heidi Rano. Number 19, Sage Tanamura McDonald. Number 20, Lucy Kebrell. Number 21, Kelly Amer. Number 22, Olivia Mann. Number, and number 23, Robin Tanamura McDonald. And for your away team, Lincoln Sudbury Regional High School. Number one, Layla Brown. Number two, Alina Graham. Number three, Aurora Silvestro. Number four, Leah Murphy. Number five, Rebecca Edwards. Number six, Alyssa Buitan. Number seven, Lily Fischel. Number eight, Kate Carroll. Number nine, Kaylee Kai. Number ten, Emma Griffith. Number 11, Rebecca Sieffi. Number 12, Genevieve Chandler. Number 13, Nora Lee. Number 14, Michelle Johnson. Number 15, Fiona Pendergast. Number 16, Chloe Stefik. Number 17, Holly Harden. Number 18, Shayna Bisson. Number 19, Emily Jen. Number 20, Jennifer Johnson. Number 21, Azuri Anacostasis. Number 22, Caitlin White. And number 23, Robin Weissman. Our great nation has reserved through the leadership and sacrifices of men and women who have served or are currently serving in the armed forces. We both, we invite both veterans and current military personnel to stand. Thank you for your service to our country. Now we invite all to stand for our national anthem.
Peter. What a start. Okay, so we're back at Curry College. What a way to introduce the final. And now the team's one last huddle before we make it to the field. Great day here. Beautiful day, about uh, 68, 69 degrees in Milton today. And breeze is a little gusty. At times it feels like very little, and then it'll kick up a little bit. So that may play a little bit of a factor today. We'll have to see. But both teams uh, very well prepared and well acquainted with each other. Yes, yeah, so, so they played at, at least twice this season, as well as some practice games. Uh, Belmont coming out on top of close games. So we're in for an exciting final with both teams having always played each other in the final as well in the last, uh, the, the last few years, at least three or four uh, times since uh, girls rugby was uh, made an MIA a sport. So uh, these teams have faced off. So far, Belmont winning all of those uh, finals. Yes, but always hard fought and yep. uh, Lincoln Sudbury, a uh, well coached, disciplined team. Yep. Uh, good defense and uh, good we're gonna see today. Some, we're gonna see some good uh, some good rugby, yes, good fan a uh, good fan support, loud. But Here. Guess, uh, with the, the Lincoln Sudbury boys are, are not in the final today. And I suppose some of them are here while Belmont boys teams are waiting for the final at four o'clock, so stick with us for later on when the boys of Belmont play against BC High. Look forward to seeing you for that game. As ever, thanks to Belmont Media, Jeremy Meserve is here. He'll keep us up to the action. Six years he's been doing this. So. And uh, big shout outs to Belmont rugby fans uh, actually all over the world from Belmont to Cambridge, Massachusetts to Hong Kong watching the uh, action today. Yeah. So Evie Hamer. Evie Hamer to kick off. And sends it down over the head of the eight. Uh, LS Kate, brings it out. Kate Carroll. We do have the uh, rosters with us today, so we'll do our best as ever to get the uh, names right. At least we have the spellings today. Ellis with the ball. Good crash ball from 13. Nora Lee. Good tackle there. Evie with a good tackle at about the 30. Belmont defense holding tough. Not giving out much. And the what a Warriors of Lincoln Subway just pounding the ball ahead and now spinning it out wide, trying to get something going on the outside. Defense today probably key, Peter. Both teams pride themselves on their tackling. Lincoln Sudbury making steady progress. Halfway line now. Good support by Lincoln Sudbury, uh, enabling them to put together several phases. Good tackle, Mia Taylor in there with a good tackle. And steal. Oh, almost. Like knock on. So the referee with his hand held out like that is playing advantage. There was a knock on there to Belmont. So now the referee coming back, uh, as always, will try to give uh, us all a little bit of an education. The referee signals in rugby are pretty unique. The player injured at the moment, number 14. So it was a knock on by Belmont. So that'll result eventually in a uh, Mm. Scrummage uh, and the ball put in by Lincoln Sudbury. Michelle Johnston uh, down and holding her head and certainly hope she's okay getting a little talking to. It's uh, Saturday and... What number is she wearing? 14. 14. There we go. Okay, so here's the first scrummage of the okay. day. Yep, first scrummage of the day. So when the ball is knocked forward, uh, uh, it's just Many of you are aware you have to pass the ball backwards in rugby, and if it gets knocked forward, uh, the team who uh, the team who knocked it forward loses possession, and a scrum ensues. And here we are with the set piece. And the ball put in Lincoln set piece. Well scrummed, and a penalty 
advantage called by the ref. Oh, Penalty nice. to LS. Not sure okay, what was that, maybe, possibly offsides? Maybe offsides, yes. We'll, he'll uh, probably tell us. So here the referee waiting to see if there's a no. No, no advantage coming, so he's come back. And I uh, can't quite hear what his... Didn't see the signal, so we'll... It's a penalty, a penalty to Lincoln Sudbury. So here... That ball is not gone. Oh, not gone. So Lincoln will make the most of this now. So uh, unfortunately there's Cecilia fullback, fantastic fullback. Unfortunately caught a very tricky ball and that ball again went forward as Peter describes. So now it's a scrum down to Lincoln Sudbury on about the uh, 25 uh, yard line. Awfully hard to handle the rugby ball and those low, low bouncing kicks and uh, just knocked it on. So Lincoln Sudbury with a really good attacking position here at the 25. And a bit, a bit of a shot, pretty equal at the scrummage it looks like Peter. So far, okay. oh. That ball did not go forward, but they've got space on the outside. Okay, that ball seemed to go forward, yes. Going so, forward. So a scrummage back to uh, Belmont. Oh. One with a chance now, I guess uh, first possession, probably five minutes in. Lincoln Sudbury with a good opportunity there and unfortunately uh, knocked forward. Belmont will uh, get the put in here and probably try to clear it out, I would imagine. Yes. Lincoln Sudbury pretty well drilled in that, yes. Oh. Okay, good clearance, but up to the 40-yard line. Lincoln Sudbury looking to attack. Oh, my. So, another. You see the referee's arm is up, so... Uh, referee still playing advantage to Lincoln Sudbury. And he's come back. So, look, not rolling away. So, that signal is not rolling away. As soon as the tackler has made the tackle, they have to release the player on the ground and then make every attempt possible to exit. So number 15, uh, the fullback, uh, Fiona Prendergast. Uh, so she's also, uh, uh, she's a senior, so just graduated. Team's pretty equally made up of uh, a lot of seniors. And because that was a Penalty to Lincoln Sudbury, they kick the ball out and uh, the, the ball returns to them at the line out. So Lincoln Sudbury with a really good uh, attacking position here at about the 15. And uh, see what they see what they choose to do. I wouldn't be surprised to see them try to maul the ball, which is when they bring the ball down and hold it up and try to drive it yes, down. And good, in it. fact they do. Wow, Belmont. Peter, that was uh, not an easy... Belmont yeah. holds up the ball and the well, ball, out. And the ball yeah. goes okay. to ground. and That was well countered by, uh, by Belmont, so no doubt I think probably practiced that, yep. what to do. Somebody's been watching some tape. Yes. Oh, Lincoln Sudbury goes weak side. Not much there. And they go wide. Out to the outside, they have a player. Lots of cover from Belmont. Evie, good tackle. Good tacky Over tackle by Evie. Okay, so the referee again. There's something that needs to get across to the Belmont. Each referee, oh. Lincoln Sudbury pounding away here at the Belmont defense. Couldn't get it in with their forwards, and they spin it out to the backs. They've got some room on the outside. Good tackle. Forward. Oh. Forward, forward. Okay, good. Yep. Lincoln so Sudbury think, uh, with the, the try was all theirs, and they just couldn't get okay, it out but, quickly uh, knocked, enough. Knocked forward, unlucky. Good tackle there again. They didn't catch very who good, that was. Very good. Could have been Ali Caputa. That's her wing. 
Yeah. What a tackle, and uh, just in the tackle, trying to get the ball away, the uh, Lincoln Sudbury player knocked it on. So, Lincoln Sudbury clearly with the better start at the moment. So, uh, scrummage in a very difficult position here for Belmont on the five on the five yard line. So, five yard scrum to Belmont. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to see them try to run it out a little bit before getting the clearance kick, but uh, see what they have Solid here. Scrum. Now they go directly to it. That might have taken a deflection. And does find touch. Yes, and it took a deflection. I thought that ball came. So that's a good kick from Belmont in the end. So Belmont now get the put in at the lineup. So. So uh, the first possession to Belmont. So weathering that storm, that was 15 minutes, is that right? 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Yeah, about 10 so. minutes in, yes. Belmont don't know we have the ball at the moment, that's right, good. That's nice. a great take. Great line out by Belmont. Good support by Belmont. Good rucking. Go. That's, That's, Nicole. That's Nicole. Nicole, good hands. Go Finds Lulu. a little space. Lulu Conroy with a run up the middle. Needs support, got support. Belmont, uh, Lincoln Subbury definitely looking to counter. Which is good. Nice, Helen. Oh, Helen Beautiful out. breakaway. And forward, unfortunately, forward thrown forward. The LS fans incensed, uh, but the sir caught it as well. So, yes, they should really be out there, perhaps uh, refereeing. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see the support on both sides here today. So throw f thrown forward, which gives uh, Lincoln Sudbury the put in for the scrum at uh, about the 39. But I hope that showed uh, Belmont intent, wanting to run the ball out. It made great progress. So the eight person forward pack uh, for Belmont, uh, Nicole Buffano. Noreen, Nia, and then uh, Julia and Lulu form the second row. Oh, number 12 from, oh. good run, good pick up from number 10. Good tackle, Nia Taylor there. And LS finding some room on the outside. Good. That's Cecilia, the fullback, got a great tackle in there. Sets of players are pretty pretty tired already. There's been a lot of running around so far. Oh. That's not a knock-on. Came off her head. I think that is not a knock-on, but it is a knock-on. It is a knock-on. The referee knock has said it's a knock-on. The so it's, a, says it. it's the uh, ball to uh, Belmont. Perhaps, of course, it might have hit her hands, I think, as it hit her head. Anyways, uh, the we, this is a scrum to uh, Belmont. On the and we yard. were sort of going through the pack here, the wing forwards, Catherine Waugh and Alex Townsend, and at... Uh, and number eight is Val, Val de Thule. Justine Endo Ferguson is uh, your scrum half for ben Belmont today. Yes, you see her with the ball to the left of the scrum always, so that the, uh, hopefully then the hooker number two, Noreen, will then bring the ball back as you've seen done. Beautiful the scrum. There we go. Good. Nice skip. Oh, it worked in the end. A little bit of space out there, but they can't find it. Catherine Ward taking the ball into contact. Well, okay, now it doesn't matter. Referee has his arm up. It's, it has his arm up. It's, uh, yeah, he's going to see, yeah. So a penalty to Belmont. Offside. Offside. So, an offside penalty against uh, Lincoln Sudbury. Uh. So, uh, Evie with a, right in the middle of the park, never an easy kick, trying to make it to touch. 
Long way to that touch line. A long way to line. that touch line. Uh, she's got there at least. Oh, no, it didn't. Wow. It didn't. Wow, it is a long way. <laughs> but, ball at least. Good. Even oh, tackle turn, there. Turned over so beautifully. Helen Feldhouse again. Helen with the fend. Has oh. support. Oh, and lost it forward, unfortunately. Gosh, could have been a repeat. Could have been a repeat. So Lincoln Sudbury now in this uh, ding-dong game, bringing the ball back upfield, half around the, their 40-yard line. Good tackle there in the end by uh, Noreen. Wow, that girl was traveling. Nice, oh. Mia. Great cover. Mia Taylor with a Mia beautiful Taylor. cover across really, the field, really tracking good. the ball very, yes. very nicely. And the same again. Evie and Mia combining. High Don't low. the LS player go back. The number eight from LS, Kate Carroll, a senior, uh, running hard. So there, uh, a Belmont player, unfortunately, lying the wrong side of the ball here. Almost textbook penalty. They call uh, a judge to have uh, not rolled away there. Oh, but awfully hard to sometimes oh to gosh. get rolled away uh, in those situations. That's that's unfortunate penalty. So now, uh, yeah, number 15, making sure of a touch. Full back from LS, so still no score here. 15 minutes in. Line hard out. fought, first half. Oh, they must be Woo! some tired legs out there already. A lot of running here, and uh, LS uh, gaining the momentum two or three times in the half already, and uh, yeah. going to want to ask some more questions here. Oh, unlucky. Nice pitch. Val is up quickly. She knew she was going to do that. That Good was great line play speed. by Val. Lincoln Sudbury has a player on the outside with some space. Oh, nearly pushed out. Yes. Almost counter rucked by Belmont. Beautiful counter. 14, not Ali Caputo putting it back. So putting a lot of tackles in for Belmont today. Yep. The Great tackle there by number five, Lulu Conroy. Lincoln Sudbury, though, again, wanting to spread the ball wide. They do, and they have a player on the outside again. They're 14. Feeds it beautifully back inside. Okay, she dropped the ball. Good. Great pick up. Turned over Nicole right on that yeah. ball. Well done. Okay. Someone's got to jump on it. Okay, scrummage. Unfortunately, just a brief knock on. So that's number three near. Very difficult to control that ball rolling along the ground there. Unfortunately, just knocked it on. So now a wonderful attacking position for Lincoln Sudbury, the scrummage. Scrums have looked pretty even to me, David. Yep. Uh, both both packs holding their own and hooking the ball well. So the the team that feeds the ball in should have the uh, obvious uh, advantage to retain possession. Okay, and they look to, they're not going blind. Nope. So good. Oh, Belmont not not fooled at all by that. No, not at all. And over and over Good and over. defense. Oh. Oh, unfortunately, knock on again, unfortunately. That was unlucky. We had a chance, Belmont, there of stealing that ball. But unfortunately, knock on. So, rubber the green not quite always with Belmont at the moment. A couple of chances of a turnover. I think this is about the point in the game where the nerves start to shed a little bit. You know, you've been hit a couple times. Your, your, your nerves or my nerves? Or the, players <laughs> the players' nerves. nerves. Although, uh, as dads of players, we certainly carry our own. <laughs> there were quite a few nerves around the house this morning, I have to say. Peter's nerves will be on full display a little bit later on <laughs> in the boys' competition. Cool. Okay, so for now, uh, Lincoln Subbury again, a familiar theme at the moment, a, a scrummage. The ball in and... Oh, yes, yeah, got to be a penalty. No, it's collapsed, so he said no fault there. So we'll get up and do it again. And yeah, but that was while we do, why don't we uh, 
How do we announce the back? Yes, yeah, uh, the so back Belmont, line for Belmont. Belmont. We've already had um, uh, Justine, of course, number nine. She's uh, implicitly part of the scrummage uh, as well. Then Evie Hamer at ten. Mia Taylor, eleven. You've heard her name already, so she's on the wing. The other wing on the other uh, going to field across from us at the moment uh, is Ali Caputo. And then at centres, Peter? Helen Feldhaus and uh, Amelia Rono. And then uh, full-back Cecilia. Oh. Oh. Number 12 for LS, finding some space, offloading to the 15. Nice play. Lincoln Sudbury looked to have lost the ball, but got it back, retained yes. possession, send a three. And that is number 13. That is Amelia, one of the centers there. And LS, the number seven, a little bit isolated. Yes, got some very strong runners. Belmont still looking to keep them well out. Good, well up. Good That's job, the, good uh, defensive line speed Cecilia, by Belmont. the fullback. Same again from Belmont, pushing LS back, although still on her feet. Belmont looking to counter here, just can't. Good tackle. That was it. Very good defense by Belmont so far. Yes. Still again, that is great tackle. Belmont really putting themselves on the line at the moment, stuck uh, as we are on the five meter line. Evie a little slow to get up from that yes. tackle. Hope she's okay. Yes, and, and Belmont has oh, stolen and the ball. Back. Beautiful play by Belmont. Okay. Okay, so uh, it, Belmont have the... And not rolling away, so... Rolling away, okay, so that was, I mean, as, way, as things go, when games ebb and flow like this, for Belmont to have withstood what is roughly 20 minutes worth of attack from Lincoln Subbury has its own small victory. Absolutely. Lots of small victories all over a rugby field, and that's definitely one of them. That ball has gone, and it's a Into Belmont touch. Winning. Yes. And it looks like it might have gone off the LS player, so it'll be a... It was our penalty. Anyway. Oh, it was a penalty. Yeah. Sorry, yes. my. Thank goodness you're here. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Belmont with the put-in at this line-out. Second line-out for Belmont. Great both teams that set piece plays, uh, piece to set it around the scrummages, and the same, well, I hope, with the line-outs. Well-drilled teams. Yes, both very well and coached. Yep. Oh, oh, not straight. Not straight. Scrum to scrum to LS. Ah, uh, wow. unfortunate. Having watched the uh, Premiership final today, yes, I think that could have been called straight. Yeah, Les Lester uh, against Saracens. Saracens. Good, good match. Nice to see a lot of uh, international stars playing for their. It was, More it local was like clubs. an international, wasn't it? Really was. Beautiful match. So we've been spoiled with rugby today. Uh, Belmont, if you watch the game, English Premiership final today, then the girls, and then the boys final. What a Saturday. Super Saturday. Oh, that worked well for Lincoln Subbury. In oh, and they have players on the outside again. The, again, the 14 finding space, okay, but forward thrown pass. forward. A bit of a mark between the sides. Lincoln Subbury generally trying to... Uh, uh, offload the ball, as it's called, so in, in the tackle, trying to get another player engaged in the play. Belmont sometimes going to ground with the ball and resetting, so different styles of play. Yes. So, we'll have uh, Belmont put into the scrum here at the 21. And... Uh, Referee just wanting to make sure everything's set and safe. That ball is well. Okay, you've got to chase that, Belmont. Yes, and the... Oh, okay, good. Good, good kick. kick in the good end. Good kick in the end. Finds touch at about the 41. 
So that's uh, now uh, that went out from Belmont. It wasn't a penalty, so now that's a, a put in to LS. At the moment, none of the mm. referees have just Yes, good. Okay. <laughs> I thought we were going to try and get away with one there, but uh, but it is a Lincoln Sudbury ball. Okay. So, mishandled by. Yes. Fellas, knocked forward, playing. Uh, it's okay, we have it, we have it, we have it, so it's referee, oh, I wouldn't have thought that's much advantage, but anyway, nice break, who is that? Uh, I think the it was actually the fly half, which was surprising, and Justine now going for it as well, so the halfback pairings now deciding to take some things into their own. LS counter rocking. Yes, that's Oh. Yeah, so somebody noticing, the referee in particular, noticing the um, hands in the ruck, which you're not allowed to do. So in the loose play, uh, once the ruck is formed over the ball, you cannot touch it with your hands. You have to drive the other team over, or as we used to do in the old days, sort of heel the ball back with your foot, but that's not done very much anymore. Right, right, so... Uh it was pretty, uh, pretty obvious. Uh, the referee giving the signal correctly to uh, Lincoln Sudbury. So it's a penalty. So uh, Lincoln Sudbury get the ball back. So Lincoln Sudbury able to play, uh, play most of this first half so far in uh, in Belmont's uh, side of the field and applying steady pressure here. Okay. Nice foul, good tackle. Good tackle, way to disrupt again, the ball, excellent job. Oh, yeah, the referee still the knock on by Belmont. Oh, knock on by Belmont. Huh. Uh, so uh, perhaps in the tackle, uh, but uh, that's a scrummage to Lincoln Sudbury. Yeah, we should. Do we have the Lincoln Sudbury uh, roster here? I know we heard them in the beginning. So Lincoln Sudbury uh, roster, the, the, the front row for the scrummage. Uh, Leila Brown, Ile uh, Ilana uh, Grenohan, and Aurora Sylvester. Lincoln Sudbury uh, swinging the ball wide. Uh, now uh, then taken into touch by Belmont, so it'll be Belmont throw in. Um, second row for Lincoln Sudbury, uh, Leah Murphy and Rebecca Edwards. And then the back row of Alyssa uh, Buchanan, uh, Lily Fisher and Kate Carroll. Now a put in at the line out. And Lincoln oh. Sudbury stolen that. Stolen by LS. Number 12 for them. Running hard, breaking some tackles. Offloading to the 13. Tackle, Ali Caputo. Great number 12, I do Ali. remember from previous years. Is yes. A class player. Very number 12 strong. is uh, Jen Chandler. Lincoln several great running. Oh, well met there by Belmont. Helen but Feldhouse with the tackle. Lincoln Sudbury looking to stretch this field. Mia Taylor again doing her fair share of tackling work. Lincoln Sudbury really using the oh. offloads to keep the ball alive. Well done, Val. Well again. done, Val. Tackling Val is eight. really all over the field here, making great tackles. Belmont pushing over and have the ball. Go, Justine. Yes, okay. So Belmont have advantage here, so that's a penalty. Good. Great play from Belmont. Wonderful defense. The, the coaches will be made up with this defense. Still eight minutes left of this half. Belmont with a chance to clear the lines. E.B. Hamer going to kick for touch. Similar pattern of play, really, this game. Yes. At the moment. Yes, both teams uh, clearly putting their, uh, their game plans into effect. Uh, Belmont with some very, very stringent defense here. Very tenacious uh, on the ball. 
coming off quick line speed, and even though Lincoln Sudbury has been able to apply a lot of uh, pressure, uh, it's uh, bend, don't break so far. Exactly. Yeah. No. Uh, seems like also with the with the previous games, of course, Belmont understand the strong runners. A couple of individuals, 12, we've seen running very hard on the ball. That's Jen Shannon. And line speed from Belmont, all important. And that ball, unfortunately, ah, we may get it yet. Belmont cleans it, cleans up the the throw that went long. And Justine making a darting run. This counter rocking from is, is Julia. Julia, nice, strong run. Gonna need somebody with her. Julia please. needs support, and she's got it there. Belmont at the 30, playing in. Helen. Oh, and it, it, Belmont have the penalty as well. Nicole so. with a strong run forward. They've and got numbers on the outside. Go, 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 Cecilia. Good tackle in the end. Great support there. Justine's going to go. No. Nope. Take it in, take it in. Oh, quick line speed by the number 10 on LS. Yep, good tackle. But Belmont putting some phases together here and... Okay, knocked out of their hand, so that's uh, coming back. So a penalty at Belmont, I wonder what they can do here. So the first foray into, uh, into enemy territory. Might take some points here. I wonder, I wonder. You have to tell me what they're gonna decide. <laughs> There's his nerves showing up. I don't think I would go from here. Would you, strong running back line, maybe take... Tap and go. Tap and go. And spinning it out to the backs. Go Helen Feldhaus. Take it in, take it in. That's Nia with a run. Making the game line, but not yes. much more. And Nareen. Nareen stumbles to the three. Belmont. Out. Numbers on the outside. Cuts in. Held up, uh, five yards square. Held up by LS. <laughs> Belmont finding themselves in the try zone, but unable to put the ball down. Oh, so now this That's is a goal oh, line drop. Goal line drop. Okay, so this might be the first one, I think, either in the boys' game or the girls' we've no, seen we've this season. You've seen one. No, we've seen in the boys, uh, certainly okay. in the semifinal we had. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, yep, and uh, I hope Belmont know how to defend this. So this has to be a drop kick now, yep. similar to a, similar to something that starts the half, yep. similar to a, but it has to be from behind the goal line. You don't don't want too much space behind here. In case you they're can, drop she kick. She can take it from anywhere behind that line. Trying to whack it as far as possible, generally is as much thought as goes into this. <laughs> and Good, Mia, run it Mia back, run it back. Has some space on the outside and support. Uses it well. Val with the ball, how fitting would it be? There at the one. Justine. On. Yes. And Belt scores the try. <laughs> So Belmont coming back, beautiful wow. fashion, finding the opportunities and putting some nice phases together over the course of about four minutes of play and scoring, uh, scoring and the first points Belmont of the that first must half. Be, I mean, to withstand all of that pressure for 30 minutes and then come away with at least five points, possibly another two, uh, must be disheartening. But uh, Wow, what a game. Great game so far, and Belmont puts five points uh, on the board with the try. And this is a, a big kick now, long kick, perhaps with the wind slightly with her, maybe, in this this half. So Evie's got a, got a hard angle here. And that Up is not... And not quite enough. Okay, so five points. Belmont would take that all the way to the bank. And now have to ensure that the next two minutes of play 
that they uh, at least keep this lead going into half time. So on the. Yeah, if I was uh, Lincoln Subway, I'd want to get this game going. They've had the better of this half. Belmont, wonderful in defense, but Lincoln Subway's play has been pretty good up to now. Very, very strong, very strong offloading uh, offense, very fluid and uh, working the ball both inside and outside effectively. The Warriors uh, nonetheless find themselves down five points with two minutes left in the half. A lot can happen in rugby. Five points and uh, another two for the conversion. Seven points. Penalties worth three points. So plenty of ways to get points. That was a great passage of play from Belmont. Really? Okay, so, somebody put your name on it. Good. Marine, strong run up the middle. If they could get another point now here, how, how good would that be? Yes. Good, taken in by uh, Nia. Nia with a... Well, Lincoln definitely... Nice gap oh. to go through. Oh, oh, almost found the space, just but left nice the, tackle by LS. It was good to uh, delay the pass just that little bit and make that gap open up. Lulu Conroy with a strong run. Good. Good, Julia. Julia. Julia, so strong. And on the outside. Oh! Cecilia through the middle. Throws a dummy and takes the space in the middle. Good decision. It's gone backwards, gone backwards. Yes, go over, go over. Good, good choice, set. good choice. So in that situation, decided to set the ball and instead of trying to take it chaotically forward, and that was the right choice. Helen. Helen finds some space. She's got support. Here we go, Connor again with another strong run. Lovely set. And numbers on the outside for Belmont. The tackle. Go, keep it going. That's Amelia. Good Julia. Julia, again. Nia. So seven, seven seconds left on the clock. The clock will not stop now until... Okay, it's our ball, it's our ball. Good. 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 Control by Belmont was really yes. good there. ball control, She's excellent. Gonna need somebody with her. Yes, they've got the ball. And they've got numbers on the outside if they can find them. Yeah, somebody needs to be shouting out here, Peter. We've got I'm to get trying. a louder voice out here. Good counter up by LS, who steals the ball. Time is off for the first half. But uh, until this... Over, 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 counter up from Belmont, come on. But LS maintains position, possession. The 15 comes forward. A good catch by number three. Yes. Not no. expecting that nope. ball. <laughs> what? So this game, folks, well, this uh, half will not end until the ball goes dead. So uh, neither team wanting the ball to go dead at the moment. Chance of a counter rack by Belmont, yes. And they've got it. Perfect. Belmont stealing the ball at the 48 oh, as and, LS had... And the penalty. Oh. Great. So, so he, Belmont have a chance here still to carry on. Kick it to touch. Don't kick it. Kick it to touch. She, I think she's just making sure the game will continue, yes. Which it does. It does. Should. So she has to make Sorry. sure of touch. I'd kick it straight out. Good, that's a good there kick. She does. Good good touch finder at uh, the 28 uh, or so. And uh, you can't end the half or the game on a penalty, so. Uh, <laughs> the game continues. The game continues. This could go on all afternoon. So Belmont with the put into the line out. Secure ball, plenty of runners out there, short line out, just four players. And the ball is safely Clean. taken. Next. Good line out by Belmont. And they have players on the outside, one more. Mia, Mia Taylor is as fast as lightning. Nicely. Well done, well done by Mia. Oh! Well read there by LS. 
because she's got to be out. She's out. Yeah. Yes. And he that's the half. The ref saw an opportunity Ooh. to win that. So oh, here at the halftime mark, uh, it's uh, Belmont 5, Lincoln Sudbury nothing. Hard fought first half, David. Oh my gosh, that really that was. Yeah. The first half with Belmont oh. leading 5 0. So, Peter, welcome back, everybody, to Curry College in uh, Milton. Peter Rosemeyer and myself, David Hamer, commentating now on the second half of this pulsating all state final girls MIAA rugby final. Peter, what a first half. Incredible first half. Lincoln Sudbury playing down in the Belmont end for uh, <laughs> a fair portion of that first half, applying a lot of pressure and the Belmont defense holding up really nicely and then making use of some opportunities to uh, travel down to the Ellis uh, end of the field and, um, and put a try in. Yeah, no, gosh, our, our nerves are uh, Probably, given we have another game afterwards, Belmont game afterwards. I'm not sure all of this nerves is going to be healthy for me. But anyway, the second half, very, very enjoyable. So LS uh, with the uh, kickoff. As Peter said in the first half, no appreciable breeze. If anything, probably at the backs of Lincoln Sudbury, I would think. But, and a good kick, actually. Bobbling around. Good take there from Mia Taylor, who had a great first half. Mia runs it straight up the gut into the center of the field. Well taken. Okay, and... Uh, Belmont the... with the penalty advantage here. Yes. So they'll get a few phases, I would think. And the referee's seen enough already, so... Uh, actually, another penalty, so uh, that's interesting. So that's... Okay, so now uh, the captain being called for a word. Oh, and this might be a, a warning now, a more official warning. Um, not rolling away, so... Okay, Evie Hamer with the kick, and that hasn't quite gone, but... Okay, that's... Uh, Knocked on by Belmont. Knocked on oh. by Belmont, so uh, unfortunately that ball was not quite going to make it such. Uh, Anyway, so the referee there having a word with the uh, having a word uh, with the Lincoln Sudbury uh, captain. Um, if there's too many penalties uh, from a team, then the referee normally has a word and then it potentially sends the next person to the sin bin for uh, ten minutes, a yellow card. Lincoln Sudbury with a put into this scrummage. Okay, that oh oh almost. Okay, that ball is out, folks. I want to tell him that ball is out. Yes. It? Oh, that runner has to be in front of her. Oh, she's run very hard all day. Yeah. Really, really finding space and breaking tackles. And Lincoln Sudbury on the attack here. Counter rush by Belmont and stolen. Go, oh, Lulu Conroy. Lulu with a nice oh, steal. Another oh, another steal. Back again. Okay. Great tackle, Emilia. Good. Great. Oh, it's got to be forward, yeah. Elena Granahan, the number two for LS, uh, stealing that ball back yes, and uh, finding some field. space out towards the middle of the field. And uh, then it was knocked on by Lincoln Sudbury. So we'll, well, the Marauders a, will have a... Yeah, just a forward pass there. Oh, was it a forward, forward pass? Forward pass. So, uh, so in, in the number 12, impressive number 12, uh, unfortunately, in the tackle, uh, passed the ball forward. So... Brian Breezy starts, who's stuck around the halfway line at the moment. Just in the scrum half for Belmont with the put in. And that ball has been hooked. Oh, Lincoln Sudbury with the shove. Okay. Uh, that was, uh, that was a good, good shove there by Lincoln Very Sudbury. Very good shove so, by Lincoln uh, Sudbury. And Belmont the uh, uh, get the put in again. So uh, if you ride their luck just a little bit with that one. and. Expect what to come from from this shelf. So, so when the scrum uh, falls apart, the the ref can uh, call it a number of different ways. Most of the time, they'll just uh, reset it and play it again. Is what happened here. Belmont, nice ball. Ali Caputo, oh, good tackle by number 12 again. Good play. Good support by Belmont. It's Catherine Wall taking the ball into the tackle and set up nicely. Justine looking 
good. Uh, Nic Nicole, I Nicole, think. The, the, the front row of Belmont have had a fantastic game today. Yeah. Massive work rate. Really good work rate. Mia Taylor on the outside. Good offensive production by the forwards uh, on both sides of the yes. ball. Yeah, Noreen this time taking the ball in. Their pods seem to be pretty well overused. Here's Nia now with the ball. And LS counter rucking effectively. Oh. Oh, okay, good. So in, in the, the side. side. So okay, when the uh, ruck, is, ruck is formed, uh, there's uh, a gate that's formed, which is the width of the tackled player. Uh, and uh, you can't come in from the side. You have to come in through that width. Good. Oh, so, so, yeah, yes. it's just uh, instead of taking kicking the ball, because right in the middle of the park, difficult to get it here. Lulu Conray taking the ball up again. Good choice by Belmont. Yes, great choice. Oh, I'm seeing oh. some space over the back. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, well good clearance played. in the end. Good clearing. Oh, no. She's got to be offside. She's got to be offside, ref. That player had to be offside. Yes. Oh, the ref not, ref not catching that one, but Belmont controlling the ball and yes. the phase, and there it comes out again to Julia. Once again, dragging LS players with her as she... Get the ball out. Mia Taylor still going, Mia. and she's in and try. Over for the try, oh Mia my. Taylor. Somehow they found the ball out, found the, the way to get the ball out to the outside, and Mia Taylor uh, found the space and into the try zone. Yes. Oh, my God. Oof. Okay, that was uh, so, uh, in the end, all good. All good in the Belmont end, so, unfortunately, another. There goes number 11, Allison Caputo, for another Belmont try. That was Mia Taylor that scored that try. I think it was Mia Taylor. Yes, it was Mia Taylor that scored that try. So uh, Ali will be pleased with the recognition, but uh, give that straight back to Mia, no doubt. Okay. We so, announcers uh, can't get everything right all the time. Uh, oh, you're not talking about us, surely? No, 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 I mean in general. In general, as a group. Yes, as a group. Yes. We have to stick together. <laughs> right, Evie Hamer now with a difficult kick from, again, from the touchline. Yep. Both of Evie's kicks have been... Uh, uh, and that's not going to make it. Nope. Okay, so... But clearly great. Up, Belmont, Belmont in the ascendancy. 10-0 here to uh, to Belmont. Two two tries. Thirty tired girls on the field at the moment. And uh, oh, it's been one substitution. So that's uh, Nicole, who's done a wonderful shift uh, today. Really, really good. Is now replaced, I think. Let's see who's come on in her place. It's either Haley, probably, I think, or Sage, I think, but I, can't, I didn't see didn't the number. Didn't see the number, but we'll figure it out and make it's sure we... effective kicks from this. Uh, yes. Oh, nearly 10. 10 up there for the trying. I hope Belmont... Okay, Belmont. Numbers on the outside, if they can get there. If Belmont actually have advantage, a penalty advantage. Okay. So uh, it would be interesting what the referee does here, actually. Julia, again, carrying hard. Okay, so that's two penalties there. So he's got to do something here, offside. Okay. So the offside penalty called, and uh, Evie, I think, will kick for touch here. Substitute uh, for uh, about, uh, for uh, Lincoln Sudbury now, 22 coming on. So that we think is uh, Caitlin White coming on, and number four going off. So that's in the second row, Leah Murphy. And uh, Belmont number 25 has come on. That's Danielle Buffano. Oh, Danielle's come on. Okay, so uh, yeah. and that has found a good touch. So this. Sun has uh, found a break in the cloud, so uh, girls will get even hotter at the moment. So uh, again, another familiar pattern. We've seen plenty of penalties in this uh, in this game. So now it's a line out again to uh, Belmont.
Oh, stolen by Lincoln Sudbury there. So LS with a good defensive line out, stealing the ball from Belmont. And uh, good tackle. Good tackle. That's Amelia. I mean, it's been a real ding dong battle in the in the centers today. Oh. Look to be knocked forward from here, but yes, uh, the ref was dead in line with that one. Again, great tackling for Belmont. We know they can do it. They did it all through the majority of the first half. The tackle, Evie pushing mm -hmm. them back. Yeah. Someone's okay. Oh. Sometimes that can lead to an opportunity. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Those missed passes. Helen Feldhaus, excellent tackle. Her body position's always good. Okay, counter rocking from Bar. Pick up oh. Lulu Conroy. Lulu steals the ball, finds some space out to midfield. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> and Lincoln Sudbury. That was a good counter rock. Certainly counter rocked. Yes, in there. absolutely. Yep. Now Belmont, Justine. So beautiful counter rocking by both teams and here. Now, now is Ali Caputo on the ball, back to Val. Great offloading. And Belmont settles a little bit here. Noreen taking the ball in again. That's Cecilia, the fullback. Oh! oh. And there's the number 12 for LS it's again. Knock on, knock on anyway, so that's But uh, Belmont has the knock on advantage. Oh, nice. Pick and go. Mia. Mia. And she's off. No one is going to catch her, I don't Mia think. Mia Taylor. Yeah, oh Scores Belmont's third try of the afternoon. And the marvelous thing about that is she knew exactly what to do. She yep. pulled support for her. She's a winger, took up the role of scrum half, yep. and knew that the gap was right in front of her. Didn't just pass the ball out as she took the responsibility in the ball on her. Brilliant play. Brilliant play, and one of the words we use all the time is decisive. Yes. Do see the opportunity and be decisive in making use of it. Absolutely. Well, well played. Says, Mia Taylor. But what a what a back and forth with those counter rucks uh, from both teams uh, there oh gosh, yeah, just they, before that. I think they understand both of them. If they didn't before the game, know the power of the counter ruck. And if, uh, if they put it, I notice now Belmont putting more players into their defensive rucks, yeah. uh, you know, to try to counter it. But both teams looking to push the others off the play. Okay, still only 12 minutes of this half gone. And uh, Evie with a slightly easier conversion here. Yes. And, uh, oh, no. No. Unlucky. Must have I gone left. That, I, I thought, I thought it would look good to me, high. too. Okay, well, wow. still puts, uh, she'll be disappointed, but still puts uh, Belmont 15 nil up. So that, the good thing about that is that's two converted tries. You need three. Two converted tries and a penalty. So uh, 14 would be two converted tries for uh, Lincoln Sudbury. So no one won't be thinking about that. They'll be thinking about more points. Makes it even, e even better. But at the moment, there's a little bit of a cushion. So Lincoln Sudbury again with a kickoff. Another substitute. So uh, I think that's the other second row, I think. Number five. Rebecca Edwards, I think that's number five on her back. Yeah. She's going off. So the second row changed for Lincoln Sudbury. Someone's got to get that ball for Belmont. Oh, almost looked like obstruction there for a moment, but let them play. And oh, gosh. Good tackling by <laughs> Belmont right on the ball. That was spectacular tackling. And Alex and Townsend stealing the ball. It. Beautiful. That is great play. There's Lulu again. She's been a bit of a, wor a workhorse at uh, the I'll end of the first say. half. and the Good okay. recognition there that the ball had gone down and rucked by. Yeah, running into a, her own player there, unfortunately. She's a penalty yeah. to Lincoln Sudbury. Obstruction. So you can't use a player in front of you in any sort of a blocking maneuver in rugby, which okay, is what happened there, oh. even inadvertently. No, exactly. And there, there was just accidental. 
Okay, so 15 has the yeah. successful uh, clearance to touch from that penalty. So uh, Lincoln Sudbury uh, put into this uh, line out. So about 15 minutes gone here in the second half. Okay. Lincoln Sudbury talking it over, wanting to get their calls right. Yep. But they shouldn't be wasting any time off the clock, that's for sure. Oh, and they put it in the middle of the line out and drive forward. Good tackle. Alex Townsend pushing the player back. LS with some numbers here on the outside, but again, they can't handle it. Belmont over the ball, and uh, advantage again to Belmont. Yes, just the uh, knock-on advantage yes, here, then, yeah. I think. Diving uh -oh, over. diving over. So the okay. Well, Justine was going to take it quickly, had the idea. Yep. Okay. Yep, he's gone to, yes, he's in touch. Good, so finding touch. Good, just a little bit of a breather. That helps calm everybody's nerves. Indeed. So some more subs coming in. Lincoln Subway 13 going off. Um, that was Nora Lee. She was uh, she had a good game, I thought, number 13 for Lincoln Subway. Indeed, and if we haven't announced it, Lincoln Subway number 20 is on. Uh, Jen Johnston. Yes, perhaps she came on for their second I, row, I think. I believe she is the second row, yep. Plays prop in second row. And the, the LS forwards pound it ahead. The number one, and, yeah, Leola Brown, oh. carries hard. Knock on, knock on. So, uh, Belmont ball, good. I said good in a very partisan way then. Well, we're partisan. <laughs> Belmont Media sponsor us. <laughs> uh, one, one could tell at first glance. <laughs> a great game of rugby. So we said earlier that uh, Lincoln Subbury, uh, you know, play each other two or three times each year. Really the dominant sides in, uh, in Massachusetts know each other's games pretty well. Uh, clinics together as well so uh, I mean for the boys and uh, oh on the outside there's support oh, oh not forward. forward too bad so opportunity for Belmont lost forward oh Helen Feldhaus is hurt her good tackle oh, good tackle by Nia I love the way Belmont often push the player back completely. Of course, yes. it probably happens. Oh, that's got to be a knock-on. Yes, definitely a knock-on. Okay, Belmont have the ball. Good. And secured it well. Nice job. Good support there by Belmont. Lulu again carrying the ball to the game line and beyond. And there's numbers on the outside. Oh, he's Lost backwards. Good line speed by LS. Yes, very. Tackling good. in the backfield there, and again. Oh. Oh. So that kick blocked by LS. And with the blocked kick, there's no offside. Everybody's onside. Yeah, but Bowman have recovered well and actually have the penalty out of this anyway. So uh. I think. Uh, Probably the right option there to try to kick. Everybody is absolutely tired out out there. Yes. But Lulu Conroy gets the ball again. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is some space behind if, uh, if Belmont can use it and they see it again and yep. find it beautifully. Oh, handled nicely. And 
Val is in. No one is stopping her. What a play. Peter, you caught that play. Beautiful play. You caught that. Beautiful that. play. Played finding the opportunity, the space behind uh, the defense, wide open, Belmont kicking the ball over. That and, was a uh, good, kick. good chase. And that was number eight. I'm wondering, nine. Peter, if somebody was listening to you on that field. <laughs> Belmont try. Oh my, okay, that, uh, that was a good, well-worked try. Great defense, again, Belmont have looked to, uh, can, I, can I go on and ask Evie to take the ball closer to those posts? Is that not, that's not the dumb thing to do? Well, they're listening, as you said, so maybe they'll. <laughs> okay, so Evie uh, Heyman now with the kick. That's uh, 20 at the moment. That's four unanswered tries at the moment. They're now going for the extra two. Okay, and that is up good. And through. And through. And the kick was good. Having Belmont leading 22-0. That is pretty significant. We, uh, we bored you before with this, but that's now more than three scores, three tries away now. So that cushion for Belmont and their overall play has put them, you know, comfortably at the moment ahead. 22 points to zero. Yes, and anything can happen in rugby, so there's no let up and, uh, and uh, certainly Belmont looking to keep the pressure on here. Yes. So. Lincoln Sudbury now with the kick. We just need a ball. Yep. And it, as we've said many times uh, in past uh, broadcasts in rugby, yep. when you uh, score the try, unlike American football, you receive the kickoff. And uh, someone needs to just get the somebody ball. Somebody needs to get the ball. That's all we need. Yep. The ball. That's the only thing we need. There we go. Okay, so. Uh, okay, so LS uh, kicking off. Yeah, as Peter said, yeah, to, to Belmont. Good kick. Great Spirally. Handle nice well, man. Yeah. It's uh, near again, near that, that again. front row shift. Really, really great. working hard. Nicely Here's taken, that's number 16, and uh, did we call Sage? So Sage is on the field, I'm not sure who went off for Belmont. And one more, there is a little space out there, but it gets closed quickly by LS. Yep. Good take there, oh gosh, man and baller, the woman and ball a little bit there. Oh, driven way back. Gosh, that's great that Belmont secured that ball. Take it in and start again. I think that'll be the... Uh, and again, lots, lots of, space of space behind. Oh, Dallas covers okay, so well. Penalty to Belmont anyway. Yeah. Okay, so this... Uh, Offsides. Offsides, so... Uh, it's, it's quite a few penalties now. Um, tough position here, I think. Uh, yeah. Ref's got to move out of the way. Yeah. Might set this with set the forwards up. and then... Uh, Go. Yeah. Okay, that's an okay kick. Well yeah. kicked. Well kicked. Over, over, over Belmont. Belmont yes. looks to have it. Oh, but yes. Yeah. So, wow. Okay. So uh, this really racking up now the uh, penalties. Evie and Justine know what to do with this ball, leaving it to kick to touch. Gain some territory. Okay. So we move up to the 25 yard line for Belmont. So 12 minutes, uh, 12 minutes left to play here. Alex Townsend here to throw in. Good nice, take. good line out. Hitting her right at the 
apex of her jump, which is what you want to do. And those numbers on the outside. Caputo. Ari with wheels. Yes. With wheels. Yes. And oh, the try is in. A try. Well worked try. Well worked try. Good ball movement. Let the ball do the work. Get it out to the outside and use the space. Exactly what they did. Really, that was from the training field to the playing field. Oh my. None of the scores particularly easy for and the kicker. That was number 14 for a Belmont try. So that makes it 27 to nothing. And what a strange game rugby is. 27 to zero sounds like a, a yeah. comprehensive win, a win, but a little less first half in particular. Belmont had to weather that storm. Yes. LS has been absolutely equal here. Yep. Okay, so and it's not going to happen today. Not, not from that far away. No. no. So, we do uh, have a good scoreline of uh, 27 to 0. But uh, as said, anything's still possible. Lincoln Sudbury will not want to leave here with no score on the board. So 10 minutes left. Lincoln Sudbury brings the ball up for the kickoff. And uh, number 11 with the kick. Line drive, oh. Goes off the... That's Catherine Ward, did she? Goes, I goes off the head of Catherine Ward. Off the head of Catherine Ward. Okay. So it's knocked on by Belmont. Uh, perhaps her head, perhaps is a, is a knock on. I believe it is. Yeah. Anything above the knees, I think. Anything above the knees, Or, yeah. the, or the waist, maybe. I mean, it, does, it sure. does make sense, it always... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so. Lincoln Subbury with a good opportunity here on 30 yards. Number nine for Lincoln Sudbury, Katie Klein, scrum half, a senior. What a good game, that ball yes, is now out. He has, and a LS. Forward pass, yeah, that move looked, uh, ref yep. was well placed there. Yep. Okay, so now scrummage back the other way, scrummage to uh, Belmont. So Belmont, uh, Eight and a half minutes away from uh, sealing their fourth uh, consecutive state um, championship. Yeah. yeah, and tantalizing position here, Peter, right in the middle of the park, a massive uh, oh, uh, blind side here on, yep. on this side. See where the players go. Evie's coming Could be across. an eight-person pick. Yes, in fact, they get it out. Good offload. But LS counter rucking, hands in the ruck, and the ref saw it. So penalty advantage, Lulu, absolutely. <laughs> having a game today, lots and lots of work for Lulu today. Belmont putting some phases together, seeing some space behind. Oh, but that's now hit, so any, anybody's ball. Okay, so coming back, the referee coming good, good play. No real clear advantage there, so the referee coming back, not rolling away from uh, Lincoln Sudbury. So uh, again, oh. Belmont have a chance to uh, to clear their lines. So substitute. So uh, Neil goes off after a great game. Yeah, Neil, absolutely. His front row shift um, today was fantastic, and on comes uh, that's uh, Haley. Okay, so that has found touch. Belmont ball. Seven minutes, six minutes to go. Okay, Alex Townsend having to make the long run across here. Good, taken off the top of the Belmont nice line, line, line. Nice line. 
Well left, good support there. Nice flat passes, inviting the attacking uh, players to run onto it. <laughs> now back to the forwards for a rumble. And that player again. <laughs> Lulu again carrying the ball. And now out to Helen. And space. Oh! Good tackle. Great tackle. Oh, gosh. That was a... <laughs> that lost with a strong yeah. counter ruck. 14. Yes. Uh, Hoshi Ali Caputo hands in the ruck. Hands in. And it's LS. Okay, quickly. Quickly punted downfield. That was good thinking by the number 10. Just get the ball down. 15, sorry. <laughs> Very good. Okay, substitutions so. going on. So here comes Lucy Cabral on for what well, looks like an injured Helen Feldhaus. Helen had a great game. Great I game. hope she's okay. Yeah. So uh, Lucy Cabral, I think, coming on now at fly half, and then Evie moves out to center. Center. Helen's with the putting. Number seven, uh, Lily Fischel, putting oh, the ball, ball in for LS. Nice That's take. Great. Beautiful wow. take. Great steal by Belmont, and into offense we go. Swinging the ball wide, numbers on the outside, yes. couldn't find it, couldn't too quite bad. Get there. Okay, Justine does a great job of digging that ball out. Oh, good tackle. Ellis calling for the shift left, not seeing it quite in time, and numbers here. Wow. Oh. Oh. Find some really nice space with a couple of cuts. Haley Eager, Eager now taking the ball up. Very experienced player coming on. Oh, Justine looking for the gap. Over the ball from Belmont. The 17 is on that. Uh, oh, Heidi's on as well. Heidi Rono. So Coach Kate McCabe just doing such an incredible job again this year uh, with the team and her staff. Uh, absolutely be a beautifully, absolutely a beautifully coached uh, oh, rugby team. No, absolutely. And first class organization, all of Belmont rugby. Okay, so uh, three minutes to go. Penalty again to, uh, I guess the. Uh, that's a good kick. Oh, oh no, went, went in, in through the touch goal. line. Oh. So that's now a choice to uh, to Lincoln Subbury for the uh, scrummage back where the kick happened. That again is one of those curious ones, scrum here or scrum there. Yeah, yeah. So Lincoln Subbury taking the wise choice and uh, taking the scrum from where the ball was kicked. That's unfortunate, probably the wind uh, didn't hold there. Okay, so uh, Lincoln Sudbury. Two and a half minutes left. Come on, keen to keep the scores at least as they are. Good shove from Belmont, but the ball is out. And number 11 clears the ball. Oh. A good bounce in the end. Okay, that's a good kick. Really good kick. Doesn't find touch. Oh. Good pressure by LS. And Cecilia, though, with the count. Uh, eluding it. Brilliant. Yeah, she was a great kick chase there. Good, and Heidi taking the ball strongly into contact and setting nicely. Well done by Heidi Rono. Oh, Lulu taking out one of her own players there. Well rocked by Belmont. And oh, Evie seeing the gap. Oh, oh Evie gosh. just can't quite get through. Nice tackle by the LS yes, failure, but really good awareness by Evie to see that space in there and try and shoot it. Good hands. Good hands indeed. Oh, and she's, Cecilia's away. And she might be in. 
That was Ellis oh. chasing her down. Oh, she stumbles into gosh. the try zone. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yes. Yes. The try is scored. The sky. What a, and what a more deserving player. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, Cecilia. She knew when she get those two or three last steps, she could stretch it out and put the ball in, and she did. That was great. And that was number 15. I'm going to spend a lot of the time. Uh, try. A lot of the time tackling often. It's uh, uh, great in the tackle. Cecilia's a fullback and showed all of her skills in attack. So the. With less Lucy than a minute Cable, on the... Yes, and Lucy Cable makes good on the kick. And with less than a minute on the clock, about half and a minute on the clock. The score is uh, Belmont 34 and Lincoln Sudbury nothing. Belmont scoring 29 points in, in this, this half. second half. First half, yes, just, from just a almost breakaway try in the first half. Five, put them 5-0 up in the first half. One of the things I think that speaks to is fitness. Yes. Uh, I think that uh, the team that has better fitness will often uh, be able to uh, maintain a work rate throughout the second half, which Belmont has done beautifully. There's Another the good kick. kick. Mia Taylor wants one more run at this. So time is gone on the clock. No one's stopping at the moment. Belmont, in particular, have the chance here just to clear the ball out, but uh, want to carry on playing. Oh, indeed, Lincoln Sudbury. Lincoln Sudbury steals the ball. Great, Belmont still tackling. Ellis continuing to play their offloading uh, style of offense. Counter rucks. Belmont. Danielle uh, Buffono, I think, taking that ball in. Yes, yep. and Belmont still have the ball. And there we go. Yeah, Evie's had enough. And, that, and that's the game. That's and the, the Belmont Marauders are state champions for the fourth time. Oh, my gosh. Celebrations. Uh, congratulations, oh. David. Congratulations, Peter. Wonderful, great, great wonderful form. season for the girls culminating in the state championship. Well deserved. Please stay with us, folks. We're going to have the boys, Belmont boys versus BC High in just a few minutes. Yeah, starting at 4 o'clock. Well done. Uh, and thank you, uh, Belmont Media. Thank you, Jeremy. Congratulations to both teams on an exciting MIAA Rugby State Championship Jack. At this time, administrators from both schools will present state finalists and state champion medals to their players.
congratulations to Lincoln Suburb Regional High School on an incredible season. At this time, MIAA State Rugby Director Amy Daniels will now present the championship trophy. Will the coaches and captains of Belmont High School please come forward to accept your championship trophy. Congratulations to both schools.